So you're in Secaucus, right? Yeah. You got a problem. You fall into the river. You have a bridge that's on fire. You need the fire department to come out right quick. Thank goodness Secaucus has a 32-foot boat that can go out and fight the fire for you. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Yeah. Problem, it's low tide, and they can't get to you because the level of the river doesn't let them push the boat out to go and rescue. The Hurricane Sandy has a lot of this behind. Mud, silt, sediment, all stuff that clogs the shoreline. This boat hasn't actually run aground. They do things in Sea Caucus to make sure that this boat is not going to actually get stuck on the sandbar and on the mud there. If you had this boat facing the other way, you would not be going anywhere. Look at that. But the problem is that the boat needs about five feet of water to maneuver. We don't have that depth of water behind us to drag us out. Yes, it's, going it's no. The boat would be stuck. The dock there was damaged during Hurricane Irene, destroyed during Hurricane Sandy, and unfortunately, in between the two, the town had bought a $20,000 boat. In Hurricane Sandy, obviously, it was destroyed, and we applied to FEMA, and we were denied. But that, this time, we put an appeal in, and we contacted our, you know, our federal legislators. We are exactly at 4.41 p.m., low tide. Let's take a look. So the, the good news, though, is that this is not going to be this way for much longer. The funding that Booker and Menendez announced last week includes $440,000 to replace the pier and dredge the riverbed of the Hackensack River so that this boat can maneuver freely and accurately no matter what the tide. So Senator Booker and Senator Menendez think the solution is let's spend almost a half a million dollars to have the river accommodate the boat. They say this is the only rescue uh, dock on that area of the But how many the do North they actually Bay. do? I mean, this is now, it, it's now real money. Now you're talking about real money. If you talk to the town's mayor, he'd tell you that they got a good deal on the boat because it was part of an interlocal agreement from the North Hudson Fire Department. Basically, they got it used. The 20 grand would be nowhere near what they would have had to pay for a boat if it was new. And it's a nice boat. This is a boondoggle waiting to happen. But they, have they actually had to fight a fire from the water? On its maiden cruise, they fought a fire from the water. It would work then. But then, all but a month later, Hurricane Sandy came along and completely changed everything.